Hiya. Today, I wanted something really cool. I went to a market and everything's free and I got a whole stash of fabric. So let's go through it. So yeah, well, there's a, a market that my council has. It's four times a year and it's called the, oh, the Everything Really Really Free Market or the Free Really Really Free Market. Yeah, it's the, it's the Really Really Free Market. That's what it's called. So you go there, people have stalls that want to get rid of stuff and you go there and people will line outside the door before it even started. And you just walk around and you want something, you just take it. It's like the opposite, you feel so bad. The first time you go, it's kind of like, oh, do you want me to pay? Like, can I have it? And then you get used to it and you just go, and you just walk around and you get stuff. So this is some of the stuff I got. And this is some of the stuff I got and my kids got stuff. And poof, we all got stuff. My husband brought home these huge stereos. Um, but yeah, this is some of the stuff I got. This is, I got some stuff from some, a friend. She sews and her kids are young. And so I got her some patterns because like it's free. And there's this one, which was cute. And this one, which is cute, which actually comes with a little teddy bear pattern, uh, a little, little doggy. So I've actually um, gone and I've traced that because I'm going to give it to her, the, the pattern to her. But the doggy was so cute, I thought I might actually try and make it myself. But I really love kids in overalls, so I thought she might like that. And um, like, she's got really young kids, so I got her that one as well. I got myself this one because I off my favourite. Um, top that I wear actually has this kind of yoke and like so it's a range that goes up to 14 size 14 to 22 but on the back it doesn't actually give you what the measurements are it gives you the finished garment garment measurements from the back length of the base and base of neck to the bottom of the shirt so from here to here but how about why but anyway it's free I'll try it I got some flannel fabrics I had a project for um, and I got this great big bag of scraps. Do you know what's actually cool is I they're cool that there's someone else around here in my neighborhood somewhere that sews. So I'll show you, oh, I'm, they're dropping everywhere. Um, we'll go through them. Let's have a look so I can go down like here. Okay, so they're just like dress fabric so you can actually see where they've cut things out and they just dumped it in you know like they've so I get it this is it's one way to do it you just put everything in <laughs> I've actually got a um, rotary cutter in here somewhere where did it go oh my gosh did I pick it up aha uh -huh, I didn't pick it up right rotary cutter so what I'm gonna do is not very technically I'm just going to cut off all the dangly bits to make them usable. So um, let's have a look. Can you see this piece here? We'll have to go backwards, don't I? All right, so I've got this piece here and then we're just gonna cut off these dangly bits. I'm not gonna worry about size. I'm just going to, don't even wanna use that. I'm just going to turn them into shapes um because then later on i can do more things with it see that's an okay show shape even if it's rounded it's just getting rid of dangles and things actually makes things get used more than they would if they weren't fixed it's got a notch see they've got notches this person was person cut, cuts notches but i i don't even cut notches i so this is just going to be me going through it. Nothing too exciting. Most of the fabric's good. There's a little bit of flannel. I can take that out. There's only like something in here, like there's a bit of textured fabric. I'm not going to put that in. That's going to go straight to the waste. And my waste, all this fabric waste here, goes to um, apparel where it gets um, shredded. I, I pay for it to be removed and it gets shredded and turned into things. So I always deal, that's how I always deal with my waste. Um, I'd rather pay for someone to deal with my mess. Oh, this is cute. This is bright. What would you call this? Black fabric? If you had to sort your fabrics out, would you put this in your black pile? Because it's more more black prominent. This is where I get stuck on organizing colors. What would it go in? I think it would go into black because 
That's got a kitty on it. I don't want that piece. It's interesting because, uh, you know, I recognise a lot of these shapes. From, looks like they make a lot of trousers and stuff. That's a, I'm going to leave that shape as is because there's nothing wrong with that shape. Just move my discard pile. Trim the edges off. Actually, this is just going to continue to fray. So I'm just going to get rid of it. What's this one? You know, this is cute, but there's no point in time that I'm ever going to use pink ribbon bears. So I'm not going to throw much away, but I've got to be realistic. Oh, my daughter's going to like that. I might put that bit to the side. You can only really, should really, really keep what you're going to use. And ironically, last week, I think, or the week before, I actually paid someone for their scraps, for their quilting scraps. And here I am getting a free, here's some more of that. Here I am getting free fabric, so it all equals out, doesn't it? This person's got some good taste. That's nice. A bit of interfacing, I <laughs> don't need that. This is what I'm going to do for my evening. Just a short video to show you what's going on. I'm doing. Say hello in the comments if you like. Or A, even better. Do you love scrap fabric? Because, you know, I love scrap fabric. <laughs> I love it when people say, do you want some scrap fabric? I'm like, yes, feed me scrap fabric. I mean, are you the same? Or do you hate scraps? And if you do have scraps, what do you do with them? Am I committing a cardinal sin here by not actually measuring properly? So yeah. Anyway, do me a favour if you can. Hit subscribe if, if you want to. Hit the like button. It doesn't cost you anything to hit that like button. That means everything to me. And just keep on sewing. Editing to Marie here, just saying that I was just looking at this pattern again and it doesn't have the sizes here, but look, when you put the flap down, there's the size range. So it goes up to a bust of 44. So yeah, I didn't see it because the whole time the flap was up, but anyway, that's what that's got. Now up to the last piece and look at this. It used to be a dress. I've done this, wanted to, I love the fabric so much that I've cut up a dress. Look at that. Looks like a, it was even a handmade dress that they've ended up cutting up. But that's all right. That's cool. I'm down with that. I'm actually going to leave it like that because you don't know when you're going to use it. But you know what? I've ended up with this nice pile of fabrics on all usable size pieces now. I can just get them and then just use them for any, anything. And then this cute little motif. I've thrown some out that oh, I'm not going to use. So this was a textured watermelon. I'm not going to use the texture. The the um, bears, of course. I'm not going to use this one, even if it's cute. It's like a, a kangaroos and wombats. They're pretty much. And then this one, because it was shredding too much. Um, but this is just all the scrap bits. Like I said, I'm going to put this into my... Um, fabric bin which and when it's full it gets sent to apparel where it gets recycled shredded and recycled and turned into things um you should have checked them out i might link them below actually um but yeah not bad for a bunch of free fabrics hey i can probably make quite a few pouches and purses and stuff like that all right i think i'm i'm, I'm really pleased with that so that was a good day when things when you can get things oh where are you when you can get things for free it's a great day see ya <laughs>